Hey, Orange One here, and we're going to be going over the attributes, stats, and perk system in the new Bannerlord game. So basically, uh, when you do character creation, you get set with um, a, a story that is going to give you some different um, attribute points. So if we're looking here, this character, I've only got two Vigor, and then we've got Control, which I have two, and Endurance three. Uh, cunning is four. Social is three and intelligence is four. Oh, by the way, I got to that menu by pressing uh, C. You can also access it down here. So here you can see all of my attributes, um, which were determined by those stories that I, that I created for this character, um, like the childhood and the youth and all that. Um, you can't really tweak these when you're doing tech character creation in uh, Warband, you could tweak them a little bit, like you could add some points to them. Here, you can only do that once you level up, and you can do that every three levels. So you would get like a point up here where it says uh, attribute points, and you can then distribute those as, as needed right there. Um, but that only happens once every three levels. Now, the question is, what is this and what does it really determine? If I have like here, I've got a uh, cunning of four, it makes it easier to learn those skills and it raises their learning limit. And then you can see what skills are uh, related to it. So if I click on control, it shows the skills that are related to that attribute. So right now, um, my rogue, if I look at this, I've got 35 points in it. And we'll get to that in just a little bit. The nice shiny things are pretty cool. So um, learning limit here is 120 because I've got a ton of skill fo focus as well as 30 for cunning. Okay, so basically we can get up to 120 for that. But if I go to like smithing, its learning limit's only 20. So I can only get up to 20, um, which means I'm not going to be able to get uh, these perks, essentially. So let's see, um, was there anything else I want to talk about with skills? Um, Let's just look at a couple different examples. Here you can kind of see, okay, well, it, that's my learning limit. If I can get past these, then I'll get the opportunity to learn those. Um, like, for example, the lines past these two, so I could pick one of those. Um, and it's very similar to, like, proficiencies, essentially, from Warband, or, like, skills in Skyrim. You use these things, you get more experience. So uh, if I... For example, ride my horse more, I'll get more experience with this, up to that limit. Of course, I can't get more than that until I um, raise that by uh, investing in this skill. So I believe you get, in addition to the attributes and their free attribute points, you also have skill um, focus points which you can then use on a, a certain skill that you want. So for example, if I am like, okay, I want to do some trading, I can go down here and be like, well, I haven't done a whole lot of trading, but I'm going to invest in it. So I can take these three and I can invest them. So I can be like, hey, I want to invest one of my points here. I want to invest another point there. Um, or I could go to like roguery and be like, yep, I want to invest even further in there. So. Yeah, that's essentially how you raise those caps and get access to these other perks. Um, but then there's something kind of interesting. You may have noticed that sometimes there's just one by itself. You can be like, okay, I want that perk, you know, and by clicking on it like that, and then you've got that perk. Here, when you've got two next to each other, you got to pick which one you like. So also there's a required skill level that it'll tell you what it needs you know that limit it's like hey you need to have 50 for this or hey you need to have 25 for this so here it'll tell me hey pick one of these essentially you know and i can be like okay i want that one and then this other one get, gets locked out so that creates a lot more uh, builds essentially and build possibilities for us we got a lot of cool things um that we could do with that um and these perks are incredibly useful some of them are only like percent bonuses um, but some of them also open up, uh, especially if you get higher up, you get certain new abilities that you didn't have at all previously. 
like the traveling rumors, you get new information that was completely unavailable beforehand. Or if we go up here, um, yeah, it's like a percentage bonus for a number of these things. But I, I'm not seeing, yeah, like this is giving you a new ability. So some of these perks give you new abilities, some of them give you a percent bonus. Um, that's essentially how things boil down to. So if you want to like hit harder and be a one-handed beast, what you essentially need to do is have high vigor, which will then uh, make you learn these things a little bit faster. And you'll get these skill points which will go up faster and then you can spend them to unlearn, unlock these perks, which is really what effectively makes your person more powerful. So you use attribute points to learn skills, and you use those skills to um, get access to certain perks, which then you can use to customize your character and your playstyle. That was a mouthful. Um, if you've got any questions, please put it in the comments down below. I would love to see a like repository of questions down there. And if you have a question, go in down there and give them a like. Uh, if you want to have a conversation with them, that also helps me and my channel grow. A uh, little self-promotion, sorry, gotta do it. If you if you really enjoyed this, um, please uh, like, subscribe, comment. If I haven't earned your subscription yet, I totally get it. But if you put that comment on there, it will really help me get a good foothold with the Bannerlord community. And I'm hoping this will be a good job, jumping off point for me to grow as a channel. And um, let me know what you'd like to see in future tutorial videos because there's more of them coming like every day every other day whatever i'm gonna have a lot of these tutorial videos coming out while we got this uh whole coronavirus uh thing going on uh thank you for joining me this has been orange one